American Pastoral is a novel by Philip Roth that tells the story of a successful businessman named Seymour Sweet Levov and his fall from grace. It is set against the backdrop of the Vietnam War and the social and political upheaval of the 1960s. The novel explores themes of family, responsibility, and the American dream. The book follows the Swede as he struggles to come to terms with the actions of his daughter who becomes radicalized and carries out a violent act of political terrorism. As the story unfolds, the Swede is forced to confront the limitations of his own understanding of the world and his place in it. American Pastoral was published in 1997. It is the first book in Philip Roth's American Trilogy, which also includes I Married a Communist and The Human Stain. The American Trilogy is a fascinating exploration of American history, identity, and politics. There are different ways to approach this trilogy. You can read the three novels in order. First, American Pastoral, then I Married a Communist, and finally The Human Stain. Or you can read them as standalone books because they are not really linked by plot or characters, but by theme. American Pastoral focuses on Sweet Levov and his fall from grace. Then, the second novel, I Married a Communist, published in 1998, is about the relationship between a former radio star and his ex-wife, who becomes a communist during the McCarthy era. And the third and final novel, The Human Stain, published in 2000, follows the story of a college professor who is forced to resign after he is accused of being a racist. The novels in the American trilogy are interconnected and explore similar themes, but each book stands on its own as a unique and powerful work of fiction. And I must say that Philip Roth is one of my favorite writers. He was highly regarded and influential. He was known for his powerful and often controversial exploration of Jewish American identity and the human condition in general. He wrote over 30 novels, in his career and won many awards for his work, including the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction and the National Book Award. He passed away in 2018 at the age of 85. Now, apart from being one of the most important and influential American writers of the 20th century, Roth was also a prolific novelist. His work is marked by its psychological depth and insight, and his writing is also sharp and satirical. Apart from the books I've already mentioned, his most famous works also include novels such as his 1959 satirical coming-of-age novel Goodbye Columbus about a young man named Neil Klugman and his summer romance with a wealthy Jewish girl named Brenda Potemkin. Also his 1969 novel Portnoy's Complain, which is a humorous and explicit exploration of the life and psyche of its main character Alexander Portnoy, a Jewish American man who is grappling with his sexual desires and neurosis. His novel Sabbath Theater, which centers on the character of Mickey Sabbath, a former puppeteer and rebellious outsider who is dealing with the death of his mistress and the decline of his own vitality. Sabbath's theater also explores the familiar themes of mortality, sexuality, and the human condition, and it was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1996. And of course, The Plot Against America, which came out in 2004, and it is one of his most ambitious and politically charged works. This novel is an alternate history story that imagines what might have happened if the aviator Charles Lindbergh, an isolationist and anti-Semite, had been elected president of the United States in 1940 instead of Franklin D. Roosevelt. The novel explores the effects of Lindbergh's presidency on a Jewish American family in Newark, New Jersey, and on the nation as a whole. It deals with anti-Semitism, American identity, and the dangers of authoritarianism. And I would recommend all those novels because I find them so fascinating. Philip Roth was also a prominent public intellectual and his writing and interviews often sparked controversy and public debates on a wide range of social and political issues. He was known for his frank and often provocative exploration of sexuality, Jewish American identity, and the human condition in his writing, but he was also known for his outspoken and sometimes controversial views on a variety of topics. For example, he was critical of the state of Israel and its treatment of Palestinians, and he was also of late a vocal critic of the American political landscape and the rise of Donald Trump. But let's go back to his novel American Pastoral now. So the main character of American Pastoral is, as I said, uh, Seymour Sweet Levov. He's a successful businessman. He's a former high school athlete who is seemingly living the American dream. He's known by this nickname, Swede, because he's the son of a Jewish father and a wasp mother, and his blonde hair and blue eyes make him stand out 
in the predominantly Jewish community in which he grows up. The Swede is also known for his athletic abilities, particularly his prowess as a high school wrestler, which earns him the nickname Swede among his friends and teammates. In the novel, that nickname serves as a symbol of the Swede's status as an outsider and a bridge between different worlds. He's depicted as a successful and well-respected businessman and former high school sports star living in Newark, New Jersey. The novel portrays the Swede as a typical golden boy. He's admired for his good looks, athletic abilities, and all-around likability. However, as the novel progresses, this seemingly perfect life begins to unravel and he must grapple with his own flaws and limitations as well as the complexities of the world around him. The novel is narrated by Roth's recurrent alter ego, Nathan Zuckerman, who tells the story of the Lvov family whose patriarch is the Swede. So Nathan Zuckerman appears in several other novels by Roth and he's also a writer and an important figure in Roth's Zuckerman Bound trilogy which I am yet to read. Other major characters in American Pastoral include the Swede's wife Dawn who comes from a different social background and struggles to fit into Swede's world, their daughter Mary who becomes radicalized and at one point carries out a violent act of political terrorism, and his father Lou Lvov, a former glove maker who is struggling to come to terms with the changing world around him. There are also several other supporting characters who play important roles in the story, including the Swede's high school sweetheart, a former classmate who becomes a radical activist, and the Swede's business partner. One day, at a high school reunion, Nathan Zuckerman, the narrator, meets his former classmate Jerry Lvov. Jerry tells Zuckerman about the tragic events that led to the death of his older brother, Seymour Swede. Lvov. Zuckerman learns that in 1968, Seymour's teenage daughter Mary set up a bomb in protest of the Vietnam War, killing a bystander, and then she went into hiding. This horrific event left Seymour traumatized for the rest of his life. The rest of the novel follows Zuckerman as he investigates and reconstructs Seymour's life based on information provided by his brother Jerry, uh, newspaper clippings, and Zuckerman's own encounters with Seymour himself. Zuckerman meets Seymour, the Swede, twice and learns that he has remarried and has three young sons, but Mary is never mentioned in those conversations. American Pastoral is written in a realist style. This means that the novel is characterized by its attention to detail and its realistic portrayal of characters, events, and settings. Roth uses a variety of literary techniques to create a vivid and believable world, including rich description, dialogue, and character development. He also incorporates historical events and political themes into the story, creating a rich and complex narrative that reflects the social and political atmosphere of the 1960s. Overall, I would highlight the novel's psychological depth and insight, and the use of realist techniques to help create a powerful and engaging reading experience. American Pastoral was well received by critics when it was published in 1997 and it won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction the following year. However, some critics have raised concerns about the novel's depiction of women and its treatment of sensitive political issues. Some have argued that the novel's female characters are underdeveloped and lack agency and that the story is overly focused on the perspective of its male protagonist. Others have also pointed out that the novel's portrayal of political activism and terrorism may be seen as insensitive or even offensive by some readers. Overall, while American Pastoral is widely regarded as a powerful and engaging novel, it has also generated some critical debate and controversy. I must say that I do hear all those criticisms and the fact that I loved reading American Pastoral does not mean that I agree with every single idea put forward in the novel or the portrayal of some of the characters. Listen, American Pastoral is an intellectually challenging novel and a lot of fun to read and I just cannot ask literary fiction for more than that. There are whole sections of this novel that I find outrageous and they are in line with some of those main criticisms the novel has received. But if I only wanted to read things I agreed with all the time and wasn't prepared to see things from the perspective of someone else who also was highly intelligent and could write extremely well, I would probably just stick to my Twitter feed. I think American Pastoral is a powerful and engaging novel and I love its sharp wit and satirical edge. And I also appreciate the novel's exploration of family, the American dream, responsibility, all of those themes, and also the portrayal of social and political 
uh, upheaval of the 1960s. I do think some readers may also be drawn to the novel's complex and multi-dimensional characters who are vividly portrayed and have each their own unique motivations and desires. Overall, American Pastoral is a novel that will resonate with many, many readers as it resonates with me, and it continues to be both popular and highly regarded in the realm of American literature. So if you enjoy reading American Pastoral by Philip Roth and are looking for similar novels, I have a few suggestions for you. Number one, the Human Stain, also by Roth. This novel is the final book in the American Trilogy and it follows, as I said, the story of a college professor who is forced to resign after he's been accused of being a racist, but who is himself a racial imposter. Like American Pastoral, The Human Stain explores themes of identity and the American dream, and it does so with psychological depth. Another suggestion by a different writer would be The Corrections by Jonathan Franzen. This novel tells the story of a dysfunctional Midwestern family, and I just love that. And it talks about their struggles to come to terms with the changing world around them. Like American Pastoral, The Corrections is a sweeping and hugely ambitious novel, and it explores much of the same themes. Another suggestion would be The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This classic novel tells the story of Jay Gatsby, a mysterious and wealthy young man who is obsessed with former love. The novel is set against the backdrop of the Roaring Twenties. The Great Gatsby is a powerful and evocative exploration of, once again, the American dream, but more importantly, its limitations. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck also won the Pulitzer Prize. It tells the story of the Jode family who are forced to leave their home in the Dust Bowl and travel to California in search of a better life. The Grapes of Wrath is a powerful and moving exploration of the human condition and the struggles of the working class. And finally, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This classic novel tells the story of Holden Caulfield, a rebellious and disillusioned teenager who's struggling to find his own place in the world. The Catcher in the Rye is a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of adolescence and also the search for meaning. So, have fun!